In a division problem, the dividend tells us how much we have and the divisor tells us how we are going to group it. How can we determine which numbers can be divided by 9 without any remainders? Well, if a number is divisible by 9, then the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. Let's start with a list of multiples of 9 so we can compare. Multiples of 9 include 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99, and so on. Let's start by testing out one of those values. We have a dividend of 18 that we want to divide into our divisor of 9. 18 is on our list, so we know it's a multiple of 9. But if 18 is divisible by 9, that tells us we should be able to put the same number of items in each group with no remainders. When we do that, we see that 18 divided by 9 gives us two items in each group. Now let's test our rule. The sum of the digits should be divisible by 9. So let's take our dividend of 18. For 18, I'm going to add together the 1 plus the 8. 1 plus the 8 gives us 9. 9 is also a multiple of 9, so that we see 18 should be divided by 9 with no remainders. Let's test this out using another value. Here I have a dividend of 12 that I want to put into my divisor of 9. If 12 is divisible by 9, then I should be able to put the same number of items into each group with no remainders. As we go through, we can see that I can only put one item into each group and I have three items left over. I can evenly distribute these three items over my nine groups. So 12 divided by 9 gives me one remainder 3. If I tested this out using my divisibility rule for 9, I would need to add together the digits of 12. 1 plus 2 gives me 3. 3 isn't on our list of multiples of 9, so again that would tell me that 12 is not going to be evenly divisible by 9. Let's test out some larger values to see if they are also divisible by 9. Here we have 5,642 divided by 9. If 5,642 is divisible by 9, then the sum of my digits should be divisible by 9. That means I need to get, add together 5, 6, 4, and 2. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 isn't divisible by 9. 17 divided by 9 gives me one remainder 8. This tells me if I try to divide 5,642 by 9, I should still get a remainder. Well, let's test it out. 9 goes into 56 six times. Subtract out my 54. 56 minus 54 leaves me with 2. Bring down my 4. 9 goes into 24 twice minus 18. 24 minus 18 leaves me with 6. Bring down my 2. 9 goes into 62 again six times. Again, subtract out 54. 62 minus 54 leaves me with a remainder of 8. So like we predicted, 5,642 divided by 9 gives me 626 with a remainder of 8. Well, let's try this on a different value. 6,750 divided by 9. If 6,750 is divisible by 9, that means the sum of its digits should be divisible by 9. When I add together 6 plus 7, I get 13. 13 plus 5 gives me 18. 18 plus 0 leaves me at 18. 18 is divisible by 9. 18 divided by 9 gives me exactly 2. This tells me when I divide 6,750 by 9, it should go in evenly with no remainders. Let's test it out. 9 goes into 67 7 times times, subtract out my 63. 67 minus 63 leaves me with 4, bring down my 5. 9 goes into 45, 5 times, subtract my 45, that leaves me with 0. I still need to bring down my 0. 9 goes into 0 times, and I need that 0 up in my quotient in the 1's place. Finish out my problem, and we see we have nothing left over. 6,750 divided by 9 gives me exactly 750 with no remainders.